coffee gods, if you are out there, okay, I am praying to you. We are praying to you, right, Herc? Yes, we, we are praying to you, okay? That today of all days, I am allowed, I get, I accomplish a coffee in this video. My puppy Hercules has not yet seen me without coffee, and, and it's been a rough week. And when I say it's been a rough week, it's been a rough week. I started off, okay, Herky, you can go down. I started off this week, okay, by coming home, it was midnight, and I went to change my little puppy Hercules' water, and instead of changing Hercules' water, I basically had to change the flooring in my apartment. Morning time, it's just past 9.30 and we are about to start filming letting shapes decide what I eat. Only eating shapes for 24 hours. If you're a little bit confused on how this is gonna work, basically I asked my mom to write down a bunch of shapes there in this bucket. And there is like 15 slips of paper in this bucket. I can probably only think of four shapes. Square, circle, triangle. That's three. Is P the shape? Am I asking that question right now? So for every single meal, everything I eat, everything I drink today, I'll be pulling out a shape from here and I can only eat or drink that shape of food. And after I pull out whatever shape I am eating for that meal and I read it, I only have one hour to go out and get the food associated with that shape. Because if I had a ton of time, I could probably find a bunch of good food associated with that shape. This makes it a lot more fun. And our first shape is going to be ring. 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 Ring shaped foods? The hell's a ring? I don't even know. Okay, I'm gonna head out. Okay, ring shaped foods. I have one hour to find it in this only eating shapes video. Should probably put some shoes on. Just a little bit of time to spare. We have our ringed shaped foods for breakfast. Hey, yo, Herky, you happy to see anybody? Look at all the delicious stuff that I. Oh, yes, you're so excited. You're so excited. So, over here, we have all the food, and over here, we have the Lazy Susan shaped uh, e equalizer. That, great title, Derek. <laughs> I'm gonna take one of my items, for example, donuts. We'll put these on the Lazy Susan, give it a spin, and if it is correct and it is a ring-shaped object, it will stay on the Lazy Susan and I get to eat this for that meal. And what goes better with donuts than a coffee? We, a, a ring, we have a ring-shaped coffee here. Let's give that a spin. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think that would work. Next ring shaped thing I got for breakfast was a bagel. So we're gonna put the bagel on there. And what is a bagel without some herb and garlic cream cheese? That is my ring shaped breakfast. Nothing complements a bagel like cream cheese. Like that's like peanut butter and jelly. Where's the cream cheese? Was I supposed to put the cream cheese on? How does this thing work? So we have donuts and basically just a crappy donut with no frosting or anything. Why did I pick a bagel and donuts? The last thing I found at the grocery store was uh, onion flavored rings. It has the word ring in the title, so I don't see anything wrong. I, I kind of hope that thing disappears, honestly, because I'm not super excited to eat it. Nope, it's still there. I'm gonna start off with a donut. Guys, leave in the comment section down below, which out of these donuts are you picking? I am always going to pick a honey cruller. The honey cruller is just just like it, it literally I've never had something melt in my mouth mm. usually what I do is I take the honey curler and I dip it into my coffee and it just becomes like like a diaper a coffee diaper that's what a honey curler is and okay, one donut down and now we have our bagel with <sighs> It's just so dense. You cut this in half, you toast it, you spread some cream cheese. I, I spent like four bucks on that cream cheese. I mean, I'm eating ring-shaped food right now, so hopefully one day that'll help me get a ring for a, girl, a girlfriend. And the Oscar goes too. We have our onion-flavored rings here. The second I opened that, Herc literally just trotted away. He's living in someone else's house now. Oh my god, these, what the, what is that smell? It smells just like something. This smells like, like my socks after I go to the gym. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know my socks. It's not even just smelling to your nose. It's like so smelly that it like psychologically messes with you. It is definitely ring shaped. Let's give this a try. 
Onion rings. How are these onion rings? These taste like a Japanese dude's foot. Oh, oh it tastes like my foot. <laughs> this might be the worst breakfast I've ever. What? The Bagels sides the donuts like bagels aren't meant to be consumed without anything on them and these just aren't meant to be consumed Maybe I can disguise the disgusting flavor of these onion rings by putting them between two delicious Tim Hortons donuts This is either gonna be the best idea I've ever had or I am going to puke Everywhere, let's see. Maybe this will help this bagel because it's really the only thing that doesn't have a massive amount of sugar or taste like a sushi restaurant's bathroom after rush hour. <laughs> but without any sort of drink, breakfast was definitely a major flop. <sighs> <laughs> Breakfast time is now technically finished and it is now time for us to pick what we're gonna eat for lunch Which shape do we get and the only shape we can eat for all of lunch? Herc, what do you- is there something I can help you with? Herc is still a puppy so he's biting and nipping on almost everything and every time I put him in the vicinity of that- No, oh, please Herc, not again, not again, not again. Herc, you want your toy? That's like three times bigger, bigger than you. Now the only shape that I'm gonna be able to eat for lunch is going to be whatever is in Herc. You really can't- you really can't be in that spot anymore. It's going to be the shape of square. Square, you got- okay, you're old. How does that start so fast? Square is the shape. Herc, you see that? Can they read that? Oh my god, I don't have enough time for it to focus. Square is the shape. You wanna come with me this time, Herc? Let's go find some square foods, buddy. <laughs> For once, the editor thought that I would participate in this challenge, so let's see what shape I get out of the bucket. Let's see. Oh, I got the the thumb shape. Oh, that's the like button. You go ahead and kick that right now. Hit the like button, guys. 100,000 likes, and I'll shove a corn dog up my uh, No, I didn't ditch her halfway through. What happened was uh, he had a little bit of an accident in the car. There's a reason why I'm wearing black shorts instead of pink ones. So I had to bring him back before we got all this stuff, but I am back with our square lunch. Let's see what I got. I'm actually pretty proud of myself for this video. I think it's the first time that a video isn't outsmarting me and I'm outsmarting a video because you see this bag and you're probably thinking, Derek, what's square at Wendy's? And if you're somebody like me who's addicted to fast food, you will know the very random fact that Wendy's burgers have square patties. And I am so starving after breakfast that I got a triple Oh, a triple burger from Wendy's. But of course, the first has to be verified as a square item, which is completely fine. And I also got something else that is square. That is a packet of honey mustard comes in a square packaging. So let's give that a spin and get it verified as square. While that's happening, I'm gonna go down here and grab our next item, which is a square meal. Where did the bun and all the toppings go? Next up, something I loved to eat as a kid was Mr. Noodles, and I would just take out the flavoring, dump it on the dry noodles and eat it, and it's actually surprisingly good. This is definitely going to be square. Let's get that to be confirmed. Yes. Yes, of course, that is a square item. And I am super excited because I get to have coffee today. I don't know if you guys have heard of Starbucks' newest drink. <laughs> The square, the square, the square amel macchiato, but it is a delicious coffee beverage that I'm sure is going to get confirmed. Yeah, why do I even bother? I'm never gonna get coffee ever. Not to worry though, because we are getting a drink with this meal. Unlike breakfast, I am going to have. I found the cutest drink. Ever. I don't know if you guys grew up on Arizona iced tea, but where I live, it was super popular. And they now have these little Arizona iced tea juice. Look how cute these are. 
Oh, so perfect. Let's put that on here. Give it a spin and let's <laughs> dig into our square rectangle. Are you kidding? No, no. These are, these are square. These are square. <sighs> you have got. How does this happen? It's the first time that a video isn't outsmarting me. I swear to God, if I put these on here and they all disappear, I'm going to take Hercules and make him give me a hug because I'm so sad. Her, come here. These are square patties from Wendy's. I was thinking I could maybe bypass the system, but now all I get is a big chunk of cow. And the thing about being vegetarian except for videos is when I eat meat in videos, you know what happens? Guess what? I'm sure you guys already know. I get diarrhea! See, now the whole idea of eating the instant noodles was good when I had a drink. It's not good when my fingers are covered in grease! So as you can see, the big thing in noodles on the inside is a perfect square. And what you do is you take the flavoring, you dump that into the noodle package, give it a little shake, and then you have a crunchy, delicious... <laughs> it's good, I swear! They, it tastes just as good as I remember, but my mouth is drier than, than girls when I take off my shirt, man. <laughs> Things are particularly delicious, but I'm just so hungry after eating that onion ring donut sandwich for breakfast that I'll take anything right now. A lot of the times I'll do something in a video that you guys have never seen before and you'll try it at home. And if any of you guys try this, I mean, you might sound a little bit crazy asking your parents to buy a package of instant noodles and not cooking them, but let me know if you like it as much as I do, because right now it is hitting the spot. I'm about to do something that I probably normally don't do, but my mouth is so dry that I need to drink something. I'm gonna drink this honey mustard because I don't know what other shapes I'm gonna get. I might not get another drink until this challenge is over and that'll be tomorrow morning. There we go, I need something. Oh! Oh, that didn't, nope, that didn't help at all. It's the first time that a video is an else. Okay, I'm gonna finish off my instant noodles. I'm gonna finish off Wendy's meat. I will see you guys soon to pick the next shape. My mom said there is one shape in there that will get me coffee. I don't know what it is, but let's hopefully we can get it. All right, so if I look tired, it's because I went into a minor little meat coma after I ate lunch, but I am currently on my way to get my car detailed because after the whole fiasco of taking Herc in the car ride, there's a couple things in here that I want to get out sooner than later. I have the bucket right here, so I'm going to pick what my snack is right now on the way. So my mom did tell me that there are one of the shapes in here that will get me coffee, but I feel like she might just be trolling me. The shape that we got for the snack is going to be the shape cylinder. So you guys can see cylinder right there. I'm going to go and get my car. No, I guess I'm, no, no, I guess I'm not. I'm gonna go to the grocery store right now to find something cylinder. What is even, what is, what is in the shape of a cylinder? What am I gonna find? What? Coffee gods, if you are out there. Oh. Cylinder! Cylinder! Oh, yes, yes, I know what, <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, okay. I am so sorry, her. I'm a cylinder shape. I did have to make a detour from getting my car detailed, but if there's anything that's cylinder, it's gonna be this delicious coffee right here. I also picked up one thing to have with this snack because a coffee and something to eat is the perfect snack before we have dinner in a couple hours. So for the snack, what I got that cylinder shape that I've always wanted to just eat an entire thing of is an entire cylinder of cookie dough. Back in the day when my mom would make cookies, my favorite part would be when she was done mixing all the dough she scooped it all into the pan and there was that little bit left on the edges of the bowl and she would just give me a spoon and I was very overweight in elementary school. We have our cylinder of cookie dough right there, which I get, I, it's a cylinder. Yes, of course it is. We also have our venti iced coffee from, oh, oh, no! Biting my 
right here. That's okay. Oh. <laughs> and this was all that I was left with from the large coffee that I had waiting. I. It just seems like no matter what I do in videos, you know, every single time I can't get coffee or I mess it up, something terrible happens, but this time, okay, this time I was ready for me to just f*** everything up. So what I did, when I was getting the cookie dough, I also got a cylinder of Starbucks, a double shot energy drink. This is a cylinder. I was ready. Don't fall into stop. That's not happening. No, that's not happening again. Give that a spin. That is a cylinder. Okay, can I touch it? Is this too good to be true? Am I gonna be able to touch? I'm gonna bring down here. I'm gonna open. And I'm gonna have a sip of coffee in a video. Let's grab our scissors. Let's cut open our cookie dough cylinder and let's have our snack. Oh, baby, look at the chocolate chips in there. So I'm gonna take a bite of this. Oh. <laughs> this tastes exactly how I thought it would taste when I was imagining this as a child and even better now I can have Oh my god, this video is amazing. I'm doing this video with seven, 17 more of these videos coming your way Look at that bite that I just had look at all the chocolate chips that are still in there Just awaiting to be eaten by me So eating this was my dream as a kid and I know some of you guys are younger Do you have any food dreams that your parents aren't letting you do? I had two when I was a kid I had the whole cookie dough thing But I also wanted to fill my bathtub with milk and french toast crunch so that I could bathe in cereal not neither neither of them happened but i want to know what your guys's food dream is so while i'm finishing off my snack write that in the comments down below And just like that, our snack is finished. So we're gonna have dinner in a bit, but I'm going to pick what I'm eating for dinner right now. I'm going to grab a random thing right here. This is it. And for dinner, you know, no, you know what? No, that timer, no, that timer is not starting. I'm gonna open this up when I am ready to go out for my hour of finding what I'm gonna eat for dinner. Cause right now I cannot eat anything. All right, so I am now here. I have the slip and I am ready to get dinner. I am ready to open this, have the timer start. I am gonna dart right out of the house and um, in anticipation for me running out of the house, I have removed Herc's gate because we don't wanna have that thing happen again. All right, so here we go. So for dinner, I am only allowed to eat circle-shaped foods. The timer has started. I have one hour to find out what, oh, circle, sir, oh! So I remember what I was gonna do if I got circled. Okay, let's go. We're on our way to get our circle food. Interrupting the montage that you're usually gonna see, I am currently stuck in traffic, and if you guys have been following the video, you know I only have an hour to get my stuff. This traffic is moving so slowly. There's no way I'm gonna have enough time to go out and get the circle-shaped Big Mac that I wanted and the circle-shaped sushi. There's a grocery store coming up over here. I think I'm just gonna run in there and get something while I still have some time. I guess I just don't have to pay for any of this. So I had next to no time to decide what circle foods I was gonna eat for dinner, but for sure I know that these are a circle, that this is a circle, and that the coconut is a circle. So I have no worries in giving this a spin and letting the machine decide that everything on here is a circle. Yes, perfect, that is what we want. Now, I am unfortunate, um, I am for, I am so dumb, guys. I was running around the store and I stumbled upon these merit, <coughs> Marinated eggs right here, but if you look at an egg, unfortunately, it's an oval. We're gonna put that on here, and I'm sure the machine is gonna detect the fact that this is only circle foods for dinner and take it away. Herc, 
I know you don't want me to eat this and I don't want to eat this either. I'm sure that it's just a, just a little bit of a hard a hardware issue on this thing right here. Let's put the eggs back on there, give it a spin. And because eggs aren't circles, so there's no reason why I should be eating them for dinner, especially when they're brown. Oh, 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 no! Ah, I'm ah! So the first thing I want to try is this, and I actually never got to see the name yet. This is a Mexican custard raisin bun. Basically just some yellow custard and some raisins, exactly what the name says. Okay, that's not particularly good, but it's also not bad at all. It just tastes, it tastes exactly how you think something like this would taste. Next, I really want to see what this coconut is all about, because even though I only saw this for a brief second, basically it looks like, it's like a coconut. It has a little pomp cap on it. It's the only thing I'm going to be able to drink with my dinner. It's the only circle drink they had, so let's give that a Are you act? How am I gonna open a goddamn coconut? Right, I guess this is my only option. Here we go. Uh, her, please cover your ears in three, two. Oh, wait. What's a straw? Well, oh, there's a little hole there. Do I just poke? Oh, <laughs> I just, we just poke a straw into the hook. It just tastes like my towel at the end of a beach day. It's not good, but apparently it's really good for you. So I might, after what I've been eating today, I should really finish this. And the other thing that was at the very front of the store was this nice big bag of just juicy grapes. And grapes are one of my favorite fruits. Actually in high school, they used to call me Grape Daddy because I could always land them in my mat. That's on the floor. All right, so lastly with our dinner, we have our oval shape. These aren't even circle. Marinated egg. Please just sm don't smell bad. I In what world do brown eggs smell good? Okay. Smells like my foot, but like not oh, like my good like a, my foot on a good day. There is my marinated egg, my circle food for dinner. Here we go. I just chipmunked it right now. I don't do not want to try and swallow this. It's so bad. Derek, just believe in yourself. You believe in yourself. Your mom believes in you. Her believes in you. You can swallow this egg. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. So the last thing we are gonna get for this video. This is the last shape for dessert. We have to get the only shape we are allowed. Star. What kind of food is shit? What kind of food is shaped like a freaking star? The, the only star here is the, right, right here. Okay, let's head over to the grocery store and get our dessert, the last thing, and end off this challenge. Let's go, Herky. You're coming with me on this one, bud. What kind of foods are even star-shaped? There's literally nothing. There's literally nothing besides these darn bag of chips, Herc, that are star- These- I don't even know if these are actually star-shaped. So for dessert, me and Herc went to Superstore, and the only thing I was able to find that was somewhat star-shaped were these multi-grain Tostitos. You guys can see right there that somewhat looks like a star. I tried to find a star fruit. Apparently, those are super rare. It's like a freaking shiny Pokemon or something. Let's open these up. Let's eat these. We're not spinning these. This is the last thing for the video, and I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really don't think you guys understand how much it means to me that you support the channel you watch my videos because this is honestly my dream to make videos and to make people like you laugh Jen, I thank you so much. I literally love you you watching. I love you so much and her Yeah, he, he loves you too Even though he sometimes doesn't show it and he sometimes likes to poop and pee all over my apartment and destroy my furniture He still we both love you. You know what? I think these are actually like if you look at these and like you kind of squint your eyes a little bit and tilt your head to the left, it kind of looks like a star. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave any suggestions you have for future videos in the comments down below. Always remember the motto of do good, die great, and we will see you in the next video. All right, bye. And if I, shut up, shut up, shut up.